On the high road and I'm driving slow with one upper. Free him, man's really out here in the deep end. They talk it, I live it, and they lock me. Hello and welcome. I'm Toda UK. And this is my new video series called Two Minute Takedowns. This is a series of videos to try and counter the masses of long, conspiracy-rich videos that are on the internet. I'll give you quick, concise and credible evidence to try and shine a light on the truth and help remove the fog of the flat earth. These takedowns work as follows. We look at a claim made by the flat earth and we examine any evidence they provide, often a video or a story. I then take you through an intensive two-minute fact-rich takedown of the claim. These takedowns are not supposed to be in the most in-depth study, but easy to access and help people who are looking into these ideas. I include links at the end of the video, always, which will allow you to then look further into the subjects that are covered. I really decided to make these videos for three reasons. One, there are a great many debunking channels around. Simon Dan, Conspiracy Caps, Bob the Science Guy. However, they're in a long form and I wanted an easy to digest and quick approach for those who are already befuddled by the hours and hours of Geronism, D-I-T-R-H and Nathan Oakley. <laughs> Number two, I needed a quick and snappy series of videos so when I'm on a panel, I can play them quickly to address the topics as we see the same ideas time and again come back. Three, finally, I felt a body of evidence that is easy to consume and share in a format would be a great resource for everyone in this field. I've tried a number of ideas out and found that long detailed videos really get dismissed. Now today, as we near Halloween, we have one of the most pernicious flat earth proofs to try and fight against. This one is very special, and it also comes from the mouth of the big daddy of flat earth himself, Mark Sargent. I'm well known from the various panels and show on which I'm a member, and we often see these proofsies and truthsies come back time and again, even after it's been debunked soundly and buried. Like the zombie, it keeps coming back time and again. And indeed, that's why we call these things zombie proofs. They just won't lay down and die. This is because the story behind the proof has strong narrative appeal to the conspiracy-minded flat earther. Often they have layers of embellishment to make them seem more believable. And this case is no different. So, let's have a look at the case. These are the Flat Earth claims. First claim, NASA astronaut Tim Peake was filmed using blue screen techniques to emulate gravity effects. Claim number two, footage accidentally leaked out because of the competing presidential and NASA security policies. And claim number three, the ISS is fake. It's not in space and in fact is a movie set operated by NASA. So let's hear now first hand from Mark Sargent, the daddy of Flat Earthism, how it all works. This extract comes from a really good interview that was done by BM Furball, who is also a great debunker and fellow investigator. He is well known for his Cavendish experiment, and so a really big shout out to BM Furball. I'll provide links at the end of this video to his channel, so please do take a look. So, without further ado, let's have a listen to Mark and the claims he makes. The, uh, the blue screen thing, and I know some people say it wasn't blue screen, uh, and, and some people still in this day claim it's like, no, they don't use blue screen anymore. It's like, yes, they do. They use blue screen for darker environments, but if you're out in the daylight, they use green screen. It's common knowledge in Hollywood. Uh, where I think it was Tim Peake, where uh, the, you probably saw it, where George Bush was being pushed in front of the monitor, and Tim Peake was in the background with the with the with the blue screen behind him. And it was mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, it yeah. was a cloth it was a cloth blue, blue screen, and I knew when I was watching that how it got through you know, how it got through the filters. It, that shouldn't have been shown, but the reason it got shown was because you had, uh, and I only knew this because of all the media stuff I've been doing over the last couple of years, where the the president, the ex-presidents, his people had priority over the NASA people as far as releasing this, meaning mm -hmm. George, George, Bu George Bush's team is like, we want, we want to approve the footage that when we were showing to him in NASA, right? And that, and that, the NASA people are like, oh, okay, sure. Well, they, they, they have precedent. They have jurisdiction. Right. So let's get started. The next two minutes, I'm going to give you all you need to know about these claims and a counter. 
So to start, the video in the background that we see comes from a two hour long set of experiments that Tim Peake carried out for school children. You can see it here, it's called the Astronomy Academy Principia Fundamental Physics Demonstrations recorded by Tim Peake on the ISS. Now, moving forwards, here we can see some clips and stills from the video. We can also see how um, they are using the background to measure and make these tables up and put their evidence together. Let's have a look at Tim. With a velocity that's constantly changing, because although its speed is constant, its direction is changing. The ball drifting in a straight line right across the Columbus module. Okay, let's dip in a little bit deeper after we've seen a clip of Tim from that video. I can't show more because of copyright reasons, obviously. So, we see here this alleged blue screen. So let's address it. Well, first of all, the cloth doesn't cover all of the background. Secondly, this cloth has two colours in it, and this isn't typical for chroma key or blue screen, because the colour is chosen to replace other images. That's why you then remove the blue and you put another image in its place, typically CGI. The colours are chosen because they're the ones that don't normally show up in the set that is surrounding this area. In this case, white definitely appears in the set surrounding it, and I would also say that blue does occur, especially in Tim's top that he's wearing. So it's very, very unlikely that they would have chosen this kind of backdrop if they really were trying to do chroma key or blue screen in the way that Mark Sargent claims. What we actually see here is a calibrated backdrop so that when the experiments are being undertaken, the children can easily understand the movement of the objects and then make measurements, as you see here and here from the actual videos. Now, this is an extract from two hours of many different experiments performed by Tim Peake. It's also been released publicly and it's not being hidden by NASA from anyone. If Mark Sargent had done even a very small amount of research, he would have seen that this video and realized his mistakes. Instead, he does what all flat earthers do, he's a storyteller. So he created a story and then he added some compelling factoids to try and make it more persuasive. He claimed that he understood the media and the way that it works. This was an appeal to his experience. He created a very involved and technical story with NASA sensors, presidential aides who check footage and try to make claims. That is why these few vital frames have managed to slip through this overall censoring. Again, this is just a story and it's aimed at that kind of conspiratorial outlook. He then finally says it's an error and he is one to recognize this and he's the guy that's blown the whistle. To me, this shows that Mark is very unreliable and actually he's making a complex set of claims without having any kind of backup or research. It would take probably less than 10 minutes to locate a series of two hour long science videos in which this backdrop and these clips are shown. I must confess that when I first saw the clip without any context, it did trouble me uh, and that's why I looked into it. However, I realized the true facts as soon as I'd done even the most basic of research. Now, Mark Sargent is more interested in the interesting narrative than in the truth of the matter. And that's why he will continue to tell the story and he'll point to this as evidence of the ISS not being real. We should also consider if this claim is easily dismissed after a little bit of research, then maybe his other claims can be dismissed as well. Here we see another astronaut, obviously using the same backdrop and the same cloth to perform another different experiment. Nothing is being kept secret, and indeed, this is out there for everyone to see. There's no hiding this. They're not slipping the backdrop away. They're not putting it in a cupboard and never getting it out again. You know, clearly it is something that is commonly used since I've managed to find two video clips in really what is a very short period of time. We will also see in a sec some really excellent footage here of uh, the ISS filmed as a capsule leaves it and then we'll see the Earth in the background coming up as well. If any evidence was needed to say that the ISS is actually real. So let's try and close this takedown. Here we have two pictures. The one on the left is a clip that I've taken from the presidential, um, from President Bush Senior when he visited NASA control room. And you can see the screen behind. This is actually from it. And you can see uh, the top of President Bush's head and the aide who's pushing him in the wheelchair here. This clip is taken from the Academia Principia teaching video, uh, which was made by Tim Peake for NASA and obviously is the one that I've shown. Now, I think both of these are so similar that we can confirm that they came from the same sequence of film. So let's sum this up. We've debunked the claim a chroma key or blue screen was used by showing the source material that it's taken from. 
have shown that it wouldn't work well as a blue screen and in fact the real purpose is to provide a series for educational backdrops. We then debunked the idea that there was a mistake and that the video slipped through these various security uh, measures that were surrounding the president. We see this is all a fantasy that was made up by Mark Sargent and he didn't do any research. We debunk the story, which is where Mark tries to embellish his claim. Mark knows well that conspiracy-minded people like these complex explanations. They add drama and they feel that it could or indeed should be true. We've also debunked the fact that Mark and other flat earthers do not research things. They make extraordinary claims about. They prefer to invent stories, which may be fine for usual day-to-day -day interactions, but it's not okay when we want to know the truth. I see these kind of stories as damaging, fake news, and they deliberately made to deceive people who watch them. I even suspect that Mark by now probably knows the truth about this video clip, but he will carry on repeating this story as it's all part of his shtick. The real world facts are actually much simpler, and as we have seen, NASA is actually making educational materials in microgravity, and they use a cloth with a scale on it for scientific measurements. Mark would rather... Instead of facts getting in the way of a good story, he creates this compelling narrative with his explanations. Which is why I think we see this claim coming back time and again in its zombie-like fashion. So moving on, I promise the references and here they are. So, to close out, I want to summarise my thoughts. The proof claimed by Mark Sargent has been quickly debunked and dismissed with very, very little research needed. Please consider this may well be the case with many of the other flat earth claims and proofs that you see in their videos. When I first looked into this, I went through a binge watching, like many people do, of flat earth videos, and it really tends to overwhelm you. The sheer number of clips makes you wonder and start to think that there maybe has to be some truth in this. In fact, that's precisely why I'm making these videos, in a short but helpful way to counter these measures. Now thanks to everyone who's watched the video, and I hope you like the format and I look forward to making more of these. I've been Teoda UK. Please finally like, subscribe and share this video series and also my channel. Thank you very much.